So basically, coming out of the Reformation, we have different branches. So they're all agreed on a couple of things. They're agreed they're against Catholicism. They're agreed on the solas of the Reformation. They're committed to the sovereignty of God. And because of the sola scriptura, they're committed to preaching the word. So, so they have all that in common. But there really are different branches of the Reformation. And so we've got the, the Lutherans, and that, of course, is initially was the Evangelische, the Gospel Church in Germany. And their standard is the Augsburg Confession and later the Book of Concord, which includes the Augsburg Confession and some sermons on it. And so that's the Book of Concord. That's the Lutheran Confession for the Lutheran Church. When you go to the Swiss lands, that's the technically the Reformed Church. And so the Reformed Church is the three forms of unity. And so uh, that, that's, that's largely the continent, right? You've got to go over to the, the United Kingdom for the Westminster Standards. And remember this too, this is a century after, century, 120 years after the Reformation gets started. So now we have this reform group, they were trained, uh, a lot of their roots go back to, to Knox, trained under Calvin in Geneva, goes back to Scotland. We have the Scots Confession, which I love because here's this church history text. All five guys who wrote this thing were named John. I just picture them sitting around the table saying, John, no, the other one, no, the other one. So anyway, the Johns, they write this Scots Confession. It just happened providentially. Um, but then you've got the Westminster Standards. And so the Westminster Standards then become the confessional, uh, um, the confession of faith for the Presbyterians, uh, for the various Puritan groups, for the, the Congregationalists who come, and they're called Independents in Old England, they're called Congregationalists in New England. They make some tweaks to the Westminster Standards here. The Baptists follow the Westminster Standards. They, they have the London Confession of Faith, which is mostly the Westminster Standards. They change the, the church polity and they change the church and state issue and they change the baptism language. Um, so the, the Westminster Standards comes, comes to be the confessional standards for those Puritan groups in the United Kingdom. So, so what we see there in these various Reformation confessions is something we sometimes miss, and that is we didn't have a Reformation, we had Reformations, and we have substantive branches of the Reformation, and there were minor disagreements on issues of church polity or church practice or the application of the Sabbath, for instance, is a distinction that uh, some make, uh, they see, and it's a valid d distinction to see in the Heidelberg Catechism, for instance, versus the Westminster Standards. So those are some of the differences. But don't let the differences fool you of the massive substantive agreement that was there in the Reformation.